All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Minecraft Feed the Bee series. And we are back at the Arcology today, enjoying a quite a beautiful day outside, not a cloud in the sky. And yeah, we are actually going to be doing some work here. Now, as you may remember, we've got our sort of Mistcraft and Thaumcraft stuff all jammed into here. Uh, but I've, I've decided I don't like it up here. I, I did have the suggestion of moving all this stuff into the library over here. But I've actually got some plans for the library in the future. I think I've got a few fun ideas for in here. So what we are going to be doing is moving the Mistcraft and Thaumcraft stuff down to this floor right here. So the... Yeah, well, if you're an American, the third floor. If you're from other parts of the world, the second floor. And I'm thinking in here, in this section, will be Thomcraft and also the new bit we're going to be working on today, which is Zeno's Reliquary. I'm quite interested to check this out. I've never looked at it before, but I've had a few people that watch these videos tell me that I should look into it. So we're going to do that today. So yes, this section will be Zeno's Reliquary and Thaumcraft. Then over here is going to be our sort of Mistcraft area. And over there, I'm thinking B Research. Because what, what this third floor is going to be is the research sector. So bottom floor is agriculture. Second floor is the manufacturing facilities. Third floor is the research. So we'll have magical research here. Portal research and alternate dimension research. Over there will be B research, because um, I'm going to get into bees eventually. But I don't know what to put in the fourth. Uh, I'm definitely looking for suggestions on that. So if any of you guys know of any cool research related stuff to put into the fourth section over there, I would love to hear it. And then the next sections going up, the next four, are going to be all living quarters for our wonderful villagers. The more important villagers will be closer up to me with their own private little penthouses up there on the, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh floor. So yeah, that's where they, they will go, and I will put the important villagers up there, like the ones who have really cool trades. All the regular old villagers will go into all the other floors. But yeah, let's go into here to do our magical research. Now, this is sort of my layout for this floor. You'll come into the, uh, I don't know, decontamination so that you can then go and do the research without, you know, contaminants. <laughs> then uh, It's kind of stupid. But oh well, it's, it's fun and it entertains me. And so far, I haven't really done anything in here. I've just put up a uh, infinite water pool since I'll need that for Thaumcraft. And decided to go with a little different design, though, than the one uh, the, that we have up at the penthouse level. Nice little stone slabs. I, I like the look of it. And, yeah, then I've got this little setup here with a lot of stuff in here we'll need for today. And, of course, a crafting table for us to make things. So, yeah, this is going to be our magical research department. And here I'm thinking Thaumcraft stuff over in this area. Though, actually, there aren't many blocks for Zeno's Reliquary. I may also put, like, Zycraft in here as well, because it kind of has a magical feel to it. But we'll we'll see. But yeah, this will be Magical Research. And today, we're going to check out Zeno's Reliquary. And a very basic part of Zeno's Reliquary, because we're going to have to be making various potions and serums and stuff... So, the first thing you really need to make is vials. These empty vials, pretty easy, just five glass panes. Click, and there we go, and very easy to fill them with water. You just go over to water, and one, two, three, four, five. There we go. We've got five vials of ordinary water. Now, the thing we're going to be working on today, we're actually going to try a few different things in here, but the main thing we're going to need is these uh, glowing water potions. I've got a few already made. Or no, these are the Condensed Splash Serum. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot I was going to make those as well. But for these glowing water potions, pretty easy. We just need the Condensed Splash Serum, which we make from gunpowder 
nether wart, glowstone, and one of these vials of ordinary water. So, I'm gonna need you, 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 and you, and that... That should be good. I think. <laughs> okay, so for the condensed... So, oop, nope, no, wait, nope, glowstone, I don't need you. I need you and you. There we... Oh, God, did I already forget this? There we go! <laughs> I grabbed the bone meal for another part here and then forgot that that's not in this recipe. But yes, the condensed splash serum, the vials of ordinary water, some gunpowder, nether wart, and glowstone. Bam, we've got that right there. And hmm, what to try making first? Perhaps glowing bread. Now, of course, we have a massive agricultural system on the ground floor that basically produces more wheat than I could ever consume in my character's life. And so that's why we're always eating bread, we've got right there. So I thought to myself, why not try out some of this glowing bread that we can make with Zeno's Reliquary. So if we just take, well, let me just double check the recipe for that. Yeah, just three glowstone. Take one of these condensed splash serums and then three glowstones and we get a glowing water. Destroys undead, glowify stuff, use in many recipes. I'm actually curious about that. It, it destroys the undead, apparently. Perhaps we can actually use it in some way. I may have to test that. But for the glowing bread, we put the, that glowing water with three bread right there and bam! We have glowing bread, which is apparently glowy and delicious, which is important. Ooh, it's got a lot of stuff to it, too, for Thaumcraft research. That's actually quite good to know. Ooh, that's got good stuff, too. Oh, and that's cool. I didn't realize that. You get the empty vial back, so we could, of course, take that vial. Bam! We got another. Excellent. I like that. Okay, so the next thing that I am wanting to try out here is this Coin of Fortune. Now, I'm intrigued by this because I plan on building a some sort of XP mob grinder at some point. And the idea of having this coin that draws in nearby items and XP intrigues me. So what we need for that is another glowing water, four gold ingots, and four eyes of ender. So if we just take you like that, put you in the center, and then take it back out because I forgot I have the rest of the stuff in here. Let's just grab it all. It'll make my life easier. <laughs> Grab that, the four eyes of Ender, and four pieces of gold, and we have the Coin of Fortune. Now, I'm intrigued by this. We need to go find something to kill. All right, bear with me a moment. There'll be plenty of things to kill, I'm sure, as of my poor lighting abilities. Come on, where are you guys? Oh, come on, there's got to be someone somewhere. Huh. Interesting. Did I... I could have sworn I saw some skeletons or something around here earlier. Oh, well, we'll have to test that at another time. Whoop, okay. There we go. Flying back up, 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 up. And the door. Wrong button. Oh, doors, my arch nemesis, I swear. Yeah, I could have sworn I saw skeletons out there earlier, I guess. I don't know. Well, it is daytime, so spawning perhaps not good for them at the moment. But yeah, if you just... Ooh, actually, we can do it with items as well. So if we throw that on the ground and right-click, there we go. It just pops it right into the inventory. That is cool. So it works. I am pleased. And it'll be quite interesting to have this with some sort of XP mob grinder. Just right-click and bam, you just suck it all right in. It'll be wonderful. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to check out is this Emperor's Chalice. As for one, it's apparently an infinite water bucket, unless you drink from it and then it trades life for hunger. Now, I'm mainly intrigued by the infinite water bucket since I have 
as I mentioned, an infinite supply of bread, so I don't know why I'd want to trade life for hunger. Or maybe that's... I don't know, maybe... Wait, yeah, that, that makes sense that you take away a heart and get one of the little chicken wings down here. But yeah, we are going to give that a go. So that is four gold, three gas tears, and two emeralds. So... I'm pretty sure I put them in the wrong place, and I don't know why I just didn't do this. Shift-click would probably help if I didn't have something there. Shift-click. There we go. <laughs> God, I love that I know that that exists now. And there we are in Emperor's Chalice. Now, I'm kind of intrigued. Let's just go drop it in the corner over here. So do I have to fill it with water first? I'm guessing I do. There we go. Okay, so we have water. Let's just go pour it in the corner over here. Okay, yeah. Now, can I pull that water back up, or can this one only drop water? It appears to only drop water. Okay, well... Hold on, let's just kill that, because I don't have a bucket. And I don't want the sound of running water. <laughs> Alrighty. And there's one more thing I wanted to give a try today, and that's the Lily Pad of Fertility. Now, this one is a bit more complex. We have to make splash fertilization serums, and we've got to make a good few of them. And what this lily pad does is when you put it in the water, or on top of the water, rather, like a normal lily pad, any plants nearby it will grow quicker. So potentially, even though we don't really need to, we could increase our production of, uh, you know, wonderful, wonderful bread and wheat and all that much quicker, We or not quicker, but more, much, much more production. So if we take some of these condensed splash serums and then put bone meal around it, we get this splash fertilizer serum. Now this fertilizer serum acts like bone meal when you right click it on a surface. Uh, so if you click it on wheat, it'll grow it. But if you click it on grass, like with bone meal, it will grow grass and flowers, but it'll do it in a larger area, so it's far more effective than bone meal. But what we want to use it for right now is just to put a few around there, and the lily pad, and ooh, wow, that's got some nice thomcraft stuff to it. That's, that's very nice. Okay, and we click that, and there we go. Now I'm actually going to pop you in there. And let's just go downstairs and place it in the water. I doubt we'll actually see the actual effects of it, because it just makes it grow quicker, not instantly. Uh, at least so I've been told. And why are there no creatures spawning? Have I solved my lighting issues? I've been tinkering around with... Oh, nope, nope, there's a mob. Okay, ooh, actually, that makes me want to try something else. I want to try that... Uh, oh, no, condensed splash serum, that's what I need. I want to try that glowing water it says it destroys undead. So I'm curious if we run up on this guy and whoop! It would have helped if I would have thrown... Oh, it was it's actually a splash potion. I didn't actually realize that. Let's make another real quick and try that again while I have an arrow in my head. Let's just make two just to be on the safe side. Okay. Hello, skeleton. Eat this. Oh, that did do damage to him. All right, cool, nice. Very awesome. All right, let's avoid that horrible, horrible creeper over there. In we go. Now, I have shut down all of these automated systems because I've got way, way too much food, but if we place that there, these should grow far more quickly. Now, I wonder if we do replant one of these carrots. Yeah, it's going to go slow, so it'll increase the growth, but not, like, instantly. But yeah, that should be interesting. I've got more than enough resources to make them for all of my various uh, systems here. But yes, that is going to be it for this episode. Of playing around with Zeno's Reliquary, getting a little magical up in here. And yeah, as I said, if you have any ideas for what to use the fourth quadrant of my research level four. I would love to hear it right now. Magic, dimensional research, bees, and something. 
So I would love some suggestions, or for any other suggestions you think would be cool for the Arcology, I am always open to them. But yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed, and that you come back for the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, my friends, have a good one.